Today, we're going to show you our produce of Ridgegar from August 21st, 2020. See, I can't reach that exactly. So I'll need my dad's help. There's one tiny small one that looks like a baby. And there's another one there. And But there's some ready to pick, so let's pick those today. So, they're called Ridgegar in English. But you can... Uh, we also call them Chinese okra. And we're just gonna pluck a couple of them, uh, some of them. This one looks about ready to me. So we're just gonna pluck it. And put the scissor right there. Look, one big one. We also had one ridge cart, and it was 27 whole inches. We'll show you the picture. But can you believe something that 27 inches that grew in your backyard? Okay, so we have another ridge guard here that I'm just about to cut. So that makes us two ridge guards today. And so I can see a couple, two more there, back there. Actually, three more. I'm just gonna. Cut those. Right here. Oh. Three. Oh. Five of them. See? Look at this. And I think we, I saw one last ridge card there in the very back. So we're just going to leave these. Okay, we found the last ridge card. It's up there. We're gonna pluck it out. So that'll make us one, two, three, four, five. Thank you, Dad. Thanks. Okay, so look where I am now. I'm inside a trellis. This is our trellis, and we just bought some supplies at Lowe's. And then we just hanged it like this so it would become a nice trellis. So when we cut vegetables like these rich cards, we can just creep upon, they'll just creep upon, and then we can just cut them off in the land. See? One last rich card. We got seven rich cards. I had to reshoot because I forgot there was one more. This is nine rich cards because we took one from the one where I needed my dad's help. Hi guys, welcome back to our Rich Card journey. It, it will continue today and today we're making Rich Card with shrimp. So the things we'll need is um, chilies, onions, curry leaves, our homegrown Rich Card which we're so proud of. We'll need shrimp. It, it's wild caught golf shrimp from Restaurant Depot. You can check that out. And we need, oh, for a nice gravy, we'll need dried coconut, poppy seeds, almonds, and cashews, tomatoes. And we'll also need some chili powder, salt, and turmeric. And at the end, we'll add some garam masala. We'll make another video on how to make that. So let's get cooking. And we'll also need oil. So first, we're adding the oil in. Now we put in the onions and curry leaves and the chilies. Now we're adding in the salt. And then the turmeric. And now we're adding the gravy that we made. Just gonna mix it a little bit. Put the lid on and we'll let it cook. Just a tip, when you're cooking, Keep it on a low flame and occasionally check and we'll let it cook and keep the lid on and we'll let it cook for five minutes. Now that the rich cart is peeled, we're going to keep this in the compost and the layer in between what we cook and what we compost, there's some other layer with a little bit of skin and some eating stuff. So we're going to keep this aside and we're going to use it for a video where we're gonna make chutney. 
when the oil is starting to come up then it means it the paste is ready now we and it's going to cook and we're starting it the lid on and wait for five minutes now it's done cooking and we're going to put in the chili powder and the shrimp now we're just going to stir it a little bit and now we let it cook for five minutes another tip when you're cooking shrimp don't let it cook for more than five minutes otherwise it's gonna turn hard like rubber and that's not good five minutes are over now we're gonna garnish it with coriander and we're going to put a little garam masala like we said in the beginning we're just gonna stir it up and our shrimp curry is ready Yay! Woohoo! On this channel, we're not telling the exact quantities because we want you to adjust to your own taste. But now we're going to make some rich cart chutney, and the things we'll need is oil, um, chilies, rich cart, green tomatoes tamarind, and salt, and also sesame seeds. So we're gonna keep this in, this in, because it has a lot of fiber, and the original rich cart too, and tamarind. Tomatoes. Now the salt. And we're gonna keep the lid on. We dry roasted the sesame seeds and this is done cooking and cooled. So now we're going to keep the sesame seeds in the mixie jar and add this later. And we're going to grind it. And now we're adding the tempering. <laughs> Hi, now, guys, now we're making ridge gourd egg curry. The things we'll need is ridge gourd, onions, ginger garlic paste salt turmeric but um chili powder and oil we'll also need eggs boiled eggs we're boiling them so first first put oil and now uh, the tampering Now we added the onions. Now the turmeric. And now we're adding a little more turmeric. And the ginger garlic paste. Or once a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. We peel the boiled eggs and we put it in here. We're adding the salt and the chili powder, stirring it a little bit, and then we're adding the ridge gourd. We 
have to stir it a little bit. Keep the lid and let it cook. Now it's been 15 minutes and we cooked it. We didn't add any water. It came from the ridge cord and now we're adding coriander for garnishing. Now our ridge gourd egg curry is ready. Now it's lunch time. We can enjoy this with rice, naan, chapati, and many other things. Yummy. Hello everyone, our ridge gourd journey continues and today we're making ridge gourd chana dal. The things we'll need is Jeera, garlic, ginger, curry leaves, ridge gourd, turmeric, salt, chili powder, onions, oil, and last but not least, chana dal. Let's get cooking. The first thing we're gonna do is take the garlic, jeera, curry leaves, and ginger and just grind them. We're gonna put, we put in the oil and once the oil heats up, we're gonna put in the tampering. This is tampering. And we're just gonna add it. Now we're adding in the onions. For faster cooking, add some salt to the onions. Right. Now the onions are turning brown. Now we'll have to add a pinch of turmeric. The paste that we made earlier. And some dried fenugreek leaves. And crush the fenugreek leaves and add them in. Now we're just going to mix it around. Now it's time to add the chana dal. Now we have to add in the ridge gourd. Look at this. We have so many ridge gold. I thought it ended last week of journey with nine and I thought that was the world. Well, I still thought it was almost over, but still no. I found another one that's ready. This one's almost ready. But we have another one. So that's way more than 20. Yay! Look at this! I found another one! Oh, now we have way more than 20! Look! Yay! two more one up here and one all the way down here that was all that i thought but yay now we have so many like how about that that one it's not ready <laughs> but we still have more than 20 Maybe some of them might break the record of 27 inches. <laughs> no, I can barely even carry this.
So we counted them all and took them into groups of five, and we got 20 witch cards. So that's a lot, but none of them could make it to the 27. And then we also had um we also had so many that we could give some to our friends. We could give some to some neighbors and we could still eat enough. Hey guys, now we're just cutting these up so we can save them in these Ziplocs for winter. So after we just chop it with this French fry cutter, we're gonna keep it in the Ziplocs. We're putting them in the Ziploc, the ridge card, and we'll, we got these Ziplocs from Amazon. We'll put the link in the description below. They're quart, quart size, um, feasible Ziplocs. And we're trying to squeeze all the air out. And now we just put this in the deep fridge. And that's it for today, guys.